Three decades, three referendums, and now a final say. With over 96% of the votes rejecting independence, Sunday's polls resulted in a resounding victory for New Caledonia's loyalists. The Caledonian people have chosen to stay French. They made their decision freely. France is more beautiful because New Caledonia has decided to remain a part of it. While hailing the outcome, President Emmanuel Macron acknowledged that New Caledonia's electorate remained deeply divided after a 30-year process designed to settle the island's status. Only 43% of eligible voters took part in Sunday's poll amid a boycott by pro-independence campaigners who wanted it postponed as people were in mourning after losing their loved ones to COVID. There's a lot to be done. There are going to be new negotiations to develop a project on a new status for New Caledonia. We really have to consider more and more a regional integration of New Caledonia, real strong connection with uh, the neighbours. The independence referendums followed a period of unrest in the late 80s, after ethnic tensions between the indigenous Kanak community and the wealthier white community led to a deadly hostage crisis between militants and security forces. President Macron called on the Caledonian people to come together to build a common future, free from a binary choice between yes and no.